Oh, hey, uh, how's it going? Yeah, so uh, you might be wondering how I got into this situation. That one's easy, actually. I'm chroma keying out my background and I put a PNG of these prison bars in front of me, but that's not important. Come here. See, I want to tell you a story. The story of how my firekeeper died permanently in my Dark Souls Remastered playthrough. It's a rather long and somewhat convoluted story, which begins with my battle against the Chaos Witch Kellogg. See, I'd been using a plus zero Zvi against every enemy I'd faced up to this point. I hadn't upgraded it because I wanted to wait until I found the Claymore, and because I didn't know equipment maintenance was a thing you had to worry about in this game, I'd used the Zvi without repair for so long that it was now dealing greatly reduced damage. This ultimately leading to me fighting Kellogg with a plus zero battle axe. But eventually I bit the bullet, made the Blight Town Ascent, and repaired the Zvi. And while I was there, I decided to drop by Firelink Shrine. And this guy, the Trek of Kareem, he, uh, he had some rather concerning things to say. I'm considering a ch I have a rather pressing matter to attend to. That keeper has served me well, but enough with her. <laughs> but should those who have yet to sin be punished and all that, so I went back down to Blight Town, beat Kellogg, rang the second bell of awakening, and even found the Claymore after coming back up. However, upon returning to Firelink Shrine, I discovered a couple other things had changed. The bonfire had been snuffed out, the trek was gone, and the Firekeeper was dead. Now, you might be wondering, Bell of Awakening, Bell of Awakening, who or what exactly is being awakened? This guy, the Primordial Serpent, King Seeker Frampt, who set me out on my path of righteous vengeance. And also to link the first flame, succeed Lord Gwyn, remove the curse on the undead, cast out the dark, usher in a new age of fire. Yeah, so, um, what's actually important here is that he tells me I need to head up to Anor Londo. Why is this important? Well, before Latrec murdered the Firekeeper in cold blood, he said he had some pressing matters to attend to up above. So, how do I get to Anor Londo? Well, in the words of Frampt himself, I'd have to brave Sen's Fortress, a deadly house of traps where many have gone, from which none have returned. And so, off I went. Hey, what can I say? Stay on the elevator, yeah, bro. Uh, that... Now you know why the blood splatter is there. <laughs> The death animation is the funniest thing in Dark Souls games. <laughs> you just stagger to the ground like, how how could this be? Sin <laughs> plays that stupid sound of you fading <laughs> away and your ashes are just flying. I think the best one is when like you get like crushed by like a giant hammer, and so you're just laying flat, and your body just twitches once <laughs> before you <laughs> fade away. <laughs> I don't know, the giant guy is the one who opened the the gate, but when I went I went to talk to him, but he just sort of like punching my ass. Yeah. Hot style. What the hell is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, why does it have so much base? Do you want war? <laughs> it's the funniest sound, man. Huh? 
How did he grab me when I was behind him? And you getting lucky with these grabs. Not really. He's just throwing me straight into the floor. But you straight off. Well, yeah, but he's only gonna throw you off if you fight him on that tiny little bridge. Oh, I've only fought him on that little strip that he spawns on. Yeah, I saw him walking on that, and I walked away a <laughs> Yeah, I saw him. I saw him on that little bridge, and I just walk. I just like no, I'm not fighting him on that. You know. How you doing, bruh? Oh, is he doing it again? Oh, he's feeling a little woozy. And with that, I'd arrived in an Orlando. And man, ain't it pretty. But back to business. When the Firekeeper died, she left behind this item, the Black Eye Orb, which, when used in the right place, would allow me to invade the world of her killer. Thus, my mission was now to proceed through an Orlando, hunting down Lautrec. But that would not be as simple as it would initially sound, because this place... This place sucks. You backstabbed and you lived. You didn't get pushed off. But there you go. There you go. Kill and just fight them, man. <laughs> I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I don't want to. No getting past these guys without fighting them. Unless you make the crazy uh, diagonal jump skip, which you can't because you roll after jumps. No, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> you can't. It makes you roll. You're just gonna no, roll. Watch, <laughs> watch me. Watch me. You're just gonna roll. This. Watch this. Funny little area. There's an invisible wall. You really, you really There's thought you had it like that. There's an invisible like wall. My head flipped <laughs> on nothing. Oh, Robin, this is a little turn tower. Where, where's the bonfire? <laughs> the journey was long and fraught with hardship, but eventually, I found him, and it was time for my glorious revenge. Except I died to his minions, but it's okay, it's okay. I could come back and try again. Hey, 
pay. <laughs> the guilty pay the price. And with that, I avenge the firekeeper. Retrieved your soul, plus a bunch of other goodies. Story's over, right? Well, not exactly. See, I want you to check out this clip of me fighting Joe and Schmo, and Orlando's main area boss. Take a look at my Estes flask, plus two. Now, look at this clip from my second Joe and Schmo attempt, plus three. What happened? Well, one of the primary progression mechanics in Dark Souls 1 is upgrading your Estus Flask. With each upgrade, you increase the amount of health it restores. But how do you upgrade your flask, you may ask? With Firekeeper's souls, of course. I... it's... It's, it's not like her corpse was sitting there in the cage just waiting for me to shove her soul back in there, okay? It was empty! Empty! I didn't know I could use it to revive her. Eventually, I found out that was an option, after I'd used her very essence to upgrade my OJ, of course. And I thought, oh, maybe I can use a different Firekeeper soul to revive her. Nope. Only her soul can be used to revive her, surprisingly enough. And so, that was that. My Firekeeper was gone, and my Firelink bonfire would be snuffed out for the remainder of my Dark Souls 1 playthrough. Yeah, so, um... I have a bunch of other clips from me exploring other areas, you know, fighting a couple other bosses I thought were... funny. <sighs> I'll see you in the next one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that pissed him off. You lived. Oh, I like that damage. That. How did that? <laughs> okay. That's cool. You're gonna do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna try figuring out what this boss actually does. Maybe I can, like, do more than 45 damage this way. What is happening? I feel... I feel less like trying to figure out this boss now. He has a double swing! He misses. Oh my god! <laughs> Ceaseless Discharge. What a disgusting name. You ever think about that? <laughs> yeah. Yoya is the funniest name in this game. Ceaseless is just the funniest prefix to discharge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty ceaseless right there. This one's looking kind of scrapped, so. Nah, you have no faith. You're right not to have any. <laughs> Didn't cancel bro, you soul. almost just cheated. Like, what was that, bro? I did you roll, and then after the roll finished, that's when you took the damage. <laughs> that makes no sense. What just happened? So I'm like, Robin, am I gonna fight a boss with like a phase two soon? Uh, you gargoyles. I, I guess gargoyles. That really counts. Just two of them. Capra demon. I feel like don't, those don't count. I don't know. Ever Demon has a phase one, dogs. <laughs> phase two, the actual boss. I get. I feel like that really doesn't count. You're <clears> not. <throat> you're you're not open-minded enough. I see. Yeah, am I just ER pilled? Am I DS3 pilled? 
<laughs> I think, oh, phase two means like, you know, they get new moves, maybe they go faster, uh, new weapons, and new additions to old attacks. And on this game, it's like, oh yeah, Capra Demon has two dogs, and you gotta kill them before you can fight them, or it's just gonna be miserable. You know, Robin, you're right. I just have to change the way I'm looking at it, and all of a sudden, it's gonna make a lot more sense, you know? Yeah. I mean, you're, look what you're doing right now. Your real phase two is the friends we made along the way. Yeah. This boss sucks. <laughs> what is this? Like, I remember, no, it's a good boss, I think. I remember watching you fight this, and I saw the amount of damage, and I thought, oh, this isn't happening. But I just watched you dodge the same attack over and over for, t for like seven minutes. Just ceaseless. Absolutely I've ceaseless. I've never, <laughs> never done this properly. <laughs> like, is, I, like, what if this is the proper way, you know? Like, maybe there, there's... No comment, no comment. It's possible. It's possible. Oh, <laughs> for sure, man, yeah. It's just a stat check, that's all it is. Well, no, this isn't a stat check. <laughs> no, good attempt, bro. <laughs> that was a good attempt. <laughs> just let you top up, boys. Don't be ER-pilled. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You definitely have the most ceaseless discharge attempts. <laughs> Yeah, I'm holding the world you world. Definitely, yeah, you hold the record. <laughs> world record holder. <laughs> hold on. Let's see what this this blood stain does. Let's see if he reveals a hint that might be helpful. <laughs> Ooh, watch this. Hold on. And then strong attack! Okay. Yo, that's money. That's money right there. Oh efficient. See that? Whoa. Awesome, brother. It's really good. This area, this area is the best. It would have been so good. Carry on top of those, I mimic. Uh, but hey, these two worms, they act as like walls, you know? The Taurus beams can't get to me. Lead to Blight Town, Robin. That's what I've learned. You think that's what it is? All roads. It's not all roads lead to Firelink. No, all roads lead to Blight Town. I think all roads lead to Andre. But you go Halva Room, it goes to Andre. You go Valley of Drakes, it leads to Andre. You go to fucking Undead Burg, it leads to Andre. Yeah, which leads to Blight Town, which all leads to Blight Town. Yeah. Rap. Yeah. I thought you, you interact with it and it just says dead. You can do that? Part. Yeah, go interact with the, the, the cage where she was. It's the funniest thing. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if I have a proper emote for the situation. Oh, that's where this is? I see. And this way goes back up to Andre. That's what I said. Yeah, and then it leads back to, um, what's it, Blight Town? <laughs> forget it, forget it, forget it, forget All it. All roads lead to Blight Town. I don't Blight know why Town. I keep bringing it back up. I shouldn't, I really just shouldn't. 
All roads. No point. There's no point. All roads lead to Blight Town. I continue to do it. So do people fight this thing? Yeah. How do you- Okay, what I- You're- You clear out entire areas where you won't fight, like, the mini-boss. Well, here's the thing, Ron. Here's the thing, right? Like, when you look at, like, the tales of, like, ancient warriors, right? And they're, like, fighting, like, a dragon. It's like, you look at that thing, and you look at yourself, and you're like, how... Like, I'm not winning that, you know? See, like, I look at this thing, right? How many heads does that thing have? What, like, seven? Uh, they shoot exploding water bolts that track me, have giant hitboxes, knock me down for like three seconds. Uh, if I go near it, it starts doing bite attacks that just take up my entire screen. Now, I look at this thing, I'm like, I don't think I can beat that. Like, I don't think it's happening, you know? But then I just see like 30, 30, you know, just guys, 30 just undead guys. I'm like, yeah, I'll take them. I can take them. Yeah. But that, with that all being said, I'm gonna fight this thing. Let's see what happens. Whoa, first invasion. Let's see if it's any fun in this game. Ah! Bro. What is that hitbox, bro? Oh my god, he's a winner. First invasion, baby, he's a winner. I don't know, man. Let's, 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 let's get back to playing the game now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 we're doing what this again. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I'll hit him with the turnaround strong attack. Uh, they run, try and run away. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Undefeated baby 2 0. Yeah, well, okay, now I can go back to playing the game. Uh, let's see how long till someone else shows up. You know, Ryan, why don't would make me like the PvP in this game a lot more? So... If it was like... Like, you know how the NPC invasions, right? Like, they keep invading you until you kill them, right? And then they stop? Yeah. I'd like the PvP a lot more if it was like that, you know? Like, in this area, you'll be invaded by players until you kill two of them, and then they'll stop. You know? Isn't it like that? There's a timer before you can even get evading again? I don't know how you got two in a row back to back like that. Like, that was nuts. Well, yeah, I mean... Why is there so many of the... Didn't I kill this guy? What, what, what? I thought that was a phantom! These people are real? Oh my goodness! I remember first coming here, I'm like, who the fuck? Like, this guy ran up backstab me, I'm like, who the fuck? Who the fuck is this? And there's like eight more guys that come out the woods. Look at this. <laughs> it's like, because okay. whenever I get invaded, it's like, oh, okay, I have to put the game on pause now so I can fight this guy. You know, that's how it's always felt. Because it's like, it's not a required 
obstacle. Like, it's not something that I actually consistently have to deal with. It's just like, oh yeah, this time around, someone invaded me. Is this the arena? Just this incredibly thin bridge. I'll have to roll into those. I see. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he didn't get me that time, Moonlight Butterfly. Oh, the shotgun. Whoa, didn't... It... <laughs> wow, that's cool. It's gonna explode. Ah! Oh, run away! So, Robin, have you started paying taxes yet? No. Well, I haven't personally. My dad has for me one. See, I feel like I'm just not gonna do them. If they just do it, like, why can't they just do it for me? I don't know. Yeah, taxes. Pretty crazy stuff, those taxes. Aw, so graceful, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, he beat it! Dude! Dude! He beat the Moonlight Butterfly! I love that. Oh, is that a poison dart frog? I hear they're endangered. Oh, some manta ray. <laughs> I walked near it the first time in my last run and I was like, why the fuck are there manta rays in Dark Souls? Like, what is that? Well, oh, this is like a f no. These are frogs. Look at them. You see? Like, who came up with that thing? You like ever see a mob and like someone came up with this thing? And it's in only in this one tiny obscure area behind the mimic tree. <laughs> it's nowhere else. Uh, yeah, Miyazaki was like, yo, check this thing out. No, because he'll just be like the generic, oh, it's, it's a skeleton. He made it, he fight the skeleton. Like, every game has the skeleton. Then there's the fucking manta ray red spotted frog. It must have been scrapped. It's like, I was in this secret area, who cares? I know what this is. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna come back here after I do the DLC.